Welcome to Broken News Daily, a break from your normal news. Brooklyn art student Heather Dewey Hagborg isn't your average sculptor. That is unless the Venus de Milo was sculpted using the DNA of an armless woman and a 3D printer. In Heather's new show entitled Stranger Visions, the artist takes the DNA of strangers by collecting chewed pieces of gum, discarded cigarette butts, and even hair from the Penn Station bathroom. She then uses the genetics to map out a face and prints that face out using her 3D printer. So you could walk into a Brooklyn art gallery and see a 3D printed sculpture of your face on the wall. That way everyone can feel the way I felt when I went to the Louvre for the first time. It was weird. I felt weird. Heather, who is getting her PhD in electronic art at the Rensselaer Polytechnic Institute, works with a Brooklyn biology lab named GenSpace to extract the DNA and then she amplifies certain regions using a technique called polymerase chain reaction which I think is the title of a crappy Keanu Reeves movie. She then feeds that information into a computer program she wrote that figures out eye color, hair color, and other traits. Although there are still certain traits Heather can't figure out using the DNA, like age. So she makes everyone look 25, which is something my mom would love. Heather believes that the sculptures are probably closer to bearing a family resemblance to the subjects as opposed to being exact recreations especially if your family lives in the uncanny valley of the Croods. These sculptures are pretty weird and pretty neat. Science is cool, art is cool, I'm all for it. In fact, excuse me while I go strategically leave my DNA all over the city. I want a free sculpture. That's it for today. More broken news coming tomorrow. See you then.